Brazil's president, Jair Bolsonaro, has been uh, called by many media outlets the President Trump of the Southern Hemisphere. Well, that rhetoric has only ramped up in recent days as Bolsonaro has joined protest against the country's Supreme Court. Uh, it all concerns what will be a tight election race between himself and former President Lula da Silva next year. With more on why this matters for South America's biggest nation, here is RT's Nick Sanchez O'Donovan. Tensions rise in Brazil as massive rallies in support of President Jair Bolsonaro mark Independence Day celebrations. Tens of thousands march on the streets of the nation's capital, Brasilia, and in other large cities such as Rio de Janeiro or Sao Paulo. In Brasilia, 5,000 police and military personnel were on hand to maintain order at the rally outside Congress, and we have already seen clashes between Bolsonaro supporters and police. The president has spent the past few weeks calling upon his followers to mobilize in a clear aim to project strength following a string of setbacks, particularly at the hands of Brazil's Supreme Court. Bolsonaro said last week, quote, the time has come to declare our independence for good, to say we will not allow anyone from Brasilia to impose their will on us. The will that matters is yours. This type of language is widely read as a direct reference to the Supreme Court, which has ordered a series of investigations into Bolsonaro and his inner circle over allegations of systematically spreading fake news from within the government. Recently, a Supreme Court justice ruled in favor of investigating the president after he claimed the country's electronic voting system is susceptible to fraud. Critics argue that Bolsonaro is attacking public institutions in an effort to undermine their legitimacy ahead of next year's presidential elections, where recent polls show him losing to former left-wing president Lula da Silva. In fact, over 150 global left-wing figures, including former Spanish president José Luis Rodríguez Zapatero, endorsed an open letter warning Bolsonaro is planning a military coup ahead of next year's presidential elections. The letter claimed that the September 7 marches are modelled on the insurrection at the US Capitol on January 6, 2021, where then-President Donald Trump encouraged his supporters to stop the steal with false claims of electoral fraud in the 2020 presidential elections. On the other hand, former President Lula da Silva accused Bolsonaro of spreading division, hatred, and violence. So, as thousands show their support for Jair Bolsonaro on the streets, many see similarities to what happened here in the U.S. after the 2020 elections. The difference is that here, the January 6 riots marked the end of a political confrontation, or at least the closing of a chapter, as Donald Trump stepped down and Joe Biden assumed the presidency. Whereas in Brazil, today's protests are only the beginning um, of what is set to be an extremely tense year ahead of the presidential elections in October 2022. Nicholas O'Donovan, RT.